Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly, sorry the phone looks so weird. I'll show you exactly how to set up your browser or your default browser on iOS 14. So basically, as we all know, iOS 14, iOS 13, iOS 12, all the iOS versions, we had to use Safari as our default browser, but now we can actually switch it within iOS 14, which is super cool. Now, in order to do this, first of all, you have to have that new browser set up on your phone before. So what you want to do, you want to make your way over to the App Store and you want to download Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever internet browser you want to use. You want to go ahead and download it and make sure it's installed on your device before you go ahead and continue on with this tutorial. So in this case, I do have Google Chrome wherever it is. So once you do have it installed, all you want to do is make your way over to your settings app. So you want to go ahead and open it. And once you're here, you want to scroll down to your specific app browser that you just downloaded. So in this case, I did just download Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down until I see Chrome down here. So as you can see, you want to keep scrolling and then you'll eventually find that specific app. Now, once you see Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever other browser you're using, you want to go ahead and click on it. Now, once you click on it, you'll come into this specific page. Now, this is where things are going to get really, really interesting. You want to go ahead and look down like three places and you'll see this new thing called default browser app. Now, once you see that, you want to go ahead and click on it. Now, you'll come into this page and this is the most important thing. You want to go ahead and select the specifically new browser that you just downloaded or that you want to use. So in this case, if you want to use Chrome, you go ahead and click Chrome and pretty much whenever you use anything else, any other app, it will go ahead and direct you to Chrome instead of Safari. Now this is really cool because before we always had to use Safari and I personally use Safari for everything, but a lot of people may not like Safari. So now you can actually fix that and change it over to Chrome. So for example, if we go ahead and go like into our email and we got a link for our email, when we click on that link, it'll go ahead and take us to Chrome now instead of Safari. Now I did hear a rumor that whenever you restart your phone, it'll go ahead and you know switch back to defaults, but I'm pretty sure that's not gonna stay there forever. It's probably only a temporary thing, probably with iOS 14.0.1 or 14.1 or whatever the next update is, they're probably going to go ahead and fix this specific problem. So that's really pretty much it for the most part. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so me so much if you guys get hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my main channel more importantly everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then